So if you guys don't know who the Wizard Liz is, she went from zero to a million subscribers. And this is unheard of in today's YouTube game. Throughout my whole life, I would always have people extremely obsessed with me. So many people are paying millions of dollars coaching sessions, trying to pay editors, trying to buy the best, fanciest cameras. And you have some random girl who just posts these 20 minute videos, no editing, captions, and has gone viral. And I'm going to talk about exactly how her videos are so bad and what you can take away from this. Uh, why is it that people create these rumors about me? So Wiz or the Wizard Liz initially originated on TikTok and her videos did not really take off. They were just kind of average. But then the minute that she started posting these rants on her YouTube channel, that's when the algorithm started picking it up. And from a production standpoint, this is where the videos are quote unquote, really bad. When it comes to consulting my own clients, when it comes to YouTube strategy, I would not tell them to just sit down don't really care about the camera equipment and just go on a rant for 30 minutes, no editing, nothing. But what the wizard Liz does is that she gets straight into the point super assertive, her charisma and her overall personality on camera is felt. This energy of everything will be good and you have that strong faith. You can also look at the copywriting from uh, the headlines as well as this unique off contrast style. Because YouTube nowadays, everyone has an editor. Everyone has a whole team of marketers when it comes to creating their content. But as you can see from the Wizard Liz, it seems like it is just her. She is the one that's talking to the phone or the camera. And there's just captions. And that is that. So it's going against the complete opposite grain of what everyone is doing. That is what makes Liz stand out. And one of the core components of how Liz is a great example of why these videos are on a video production standpoint bad, gear does not matter. This is proof and living bread and butter where you have this person and literally in two months goes to a million subscribers. You have similar creators like Kelly Stamps, Janelle Iliana, living in the van life. And you know what has very similar traits in all these creators is that they are unique and original. Yes, you can take away what's working and people try to bite off their style, but the original gangsters when it comes to these types of content and how they created their own style and unique personality and people are trying to bite these off is that they're doing something damn right. The fact that she is literally crushing it when it comes to a video content and uh, you don't have any fancy editing, no fancy background, right? It's just her straight to the camera being really assertive and telling whatever the camera that she wants and as well as getting involved in the comments and making video responses to that. And that was the original point of YouTube is to build that original community, to build community of where you can talk and there's that sort of parasocial relationship so to understand that gear does not matter is pretty much proof is that yes if you want to start your own video production company go ahead you need gear but if you want to be a creator don't get too wrapped up about what kind of gear microphone camera light you need it's more about content content is king what exactly are you giving to the audience? What are you saying? Does every word out of your mouth have a value? Are you trying to prove a specific point to make someone better to improve or extract what my knowledge to you? Or are you just turning on a camera and blabbing on for too many minutes and saying ums and ahs? So when it comes to my own video editing experience and my worst experiences, I equate it to like a pig. And what I mean by that is that you can put so much makeup in a pig, right? You can dress that pig, look it really pretty, but at the end of the day, it's still a pig. And that's the same thing with content. You can brush up the most fanciest editing, Throw in B-roll, throw in Mr. Beast text, 
but the overall content lacks substance and you yourself do not actually feel confident and having a certain camera presence on camera, then your content isn't going to fly, right? You want to make content that people want to watch. That is the key takeaway from The Wizard Liz, being original, being on camera, and then like production does not really matter. That's my two cents of that.